Welcome to tutorial 9 of our Lazarus tutorial series and we are learning to make or use Game Maker Studio 2. So you can see that we've learned nearly all the skills um, to and concepts and actions and events to be able to create a game with instances that change in response to objects that surround them. So you can see that we've now created our Lazarus object, the little boxes objects, we've got our power button object and we've got different levels um, which increase in difficulty and we also have a background image and we have been doing a lot of work and making sure that it plays without error. In this video we're going to actually add a splash screen, we're going to have a play without error and we're also going to add a little final animation. Okay, so here we are with Game Maker Studio, and the first thing we need to do is to make our little splash screen or our title screen. So I'm going to come into here and create a new sprite. Now this should be familiar from what we did with Galactic Mail, but anyhow, we should call it Sprite Title. I'm going to import a sprite, and the sprite I'm going to do is Lazarus. Open. Yep. Comes in. Oh, all the green's already gone. That's really nice to see. And he's finished, or well, the sprite's been imported. Now I need to create an object called title object. So I'm going to close him up and go down to objects and right mouse click and create object. OBJ title. Radio, and I'm going to assign the sprite of title. There is he, there he is there. And um, I'm going to, upon creation, um, let me see, upon creation, so add event, a create event, and I'm going to add an alarm. Where's my alarm? So basically the screen's going to appear for a little period of time. So I'm going to set alarm zero, and I'm going to set it to um, countdown of 30. Oh, 30 a bit too long. Um, maybe 10 seconds, or oh, 5 seconds could be long enough. So it's going to appear for five seconds and then it's going to go into the next room. So on the event of alarm zero, we basically want it to, uh, in the room section, you want to go to next room. Okay, so that means that's our little initial screen, but I need to create that room. So this is going to be a separate, as opposed to in Galactic Mail, we just had it across on top of the other um, the other room. We're gonna make a separate room for this one. So there's two different ways you can make a title screen. So I'm just going to add a create room and I'm just going to call this room title. Yeah, actually, that's, um, let's delete that and just duplicate room zero because that's already got all the pretty pictures in there and I'm going to call that room title and I'm going to move them to the top room okay so it's up here because it always starts at the top room and in room title I'm going to get rid of Lazarus get rid of the go back to the wall layer get rid of the stop buttons because they actually we should um, fix those up put them in the right spot in here and so I need to bring in the object title so he's there so it's just going to run for five seconds and then it's going to move across to the other room so room zero these should come up here now uh, yeah, room one and oh, all layer. So that's it, so we've got the room title. Remember it always starts the first one and moves its way down. Now, I, so that's our, our beginning. So if we press play, it should run. And it was there very, very briefly. Oh, five seconds is not five steps. So let's go back to object title and <clears throat> 
when it creates, the countdown should be, let's make it two seconds. So that's 30 steps, so that should be 60 steps. Anyhow, let's have a look, see how that goes. Yep, okay, that looks good to me. Rightio, so the next thing we need to do is uh, put a little animation in at the end. So to do that, we need to um, create a new object. So I'm just going to go F12, clear that out, close him down, and go new object. Right mouse click, create an object, and this object is called OBJ3. And it's just going to be the animation at the end. If you get to the last room of um, Lazarus escaping. So I need to assign a sprite, and the sprite I'm going to use is Lazarus um, right. So it's going to basically, it's basically going to jump across the screen. So it's going to animate right, and then all I need to do in here is um, at the um, other, at the animation end, radio, I need to jump to a point. So change instance. There's movement. Movement, set point, uh, jump to point, and he needs to move to X and zero relative and relative. Okay, jump to point. And then last we want to do with his outside room and his outside room. <coughs> At that point, we want to exit the game. So let's type exit up here. Exit. So, yeah, exit game. So once he's outside the room, exit game. So I've got object free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a room. Let's just um, duplicate room title. Okay. And in here I need to. Oh, what layer did I put him on? In the wall layer, there is. Delete you, and I'm going to also delete all of these, and what I'm basically going to have is Lazarus appear in the bottom left-hand corner and just animate his way, bounce his way across the room. So let's go and go object free. You're here, okay. And now here's a cool little trick for you. Um, I'm gonna call this room free. Now I don't have to actually get to the end of it because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move room free up to the top here for testing purposes. Because remember, it always launch, launches with the first room. So if we go into room three and run, we should see Lazarus just yep, pop along the edge there. I have to get rid of the next down the bottom here. Actually, that's just the control. And it did close at the end, so I don't need the control. What, what layer was it? Control on box. There we are. So get rid of control in the control layer. So that should now run. Let's just test it again without the box appearing in the bottom left hand corner. There he is. He's escaping. And then when he gets outside the room. Yep, he's free. So I can move that down to the bottom here. But one last thing I need to do is now, instead of saying, um, instead of the game, Oh, that's right, because we'll just move to the next room. So when they finish room three, and then when an object message comes up, you press enter, it will take you to this room, and that will automatically just make him move across and run free. So there's a little animation at the end, and that's the end of this video. So you can see that we now have our splash screen, and we have a game which plays without error. And now we've ticked off our final action that we have learned, um, being able to exit the game.